Yeah. Yes, first of all, happy uh, Labor Day to everyone. And I know in football world, it's a Monday, so everyone's working. But uh, I thought it was a really, really good win for us against a, a very good football team, a quality opponent, a top 10 FCS program. Um, I think sometimes uh, you need to win games like that where you don't play your best, but you find a way to win the football game. I thought our kids showed resiliency. I thought they showed great resolve. Um, you know, when you just look at situational football, uh, we were able to close out both halves with a two-minute drive for touchdowns. We were 50% on third down conversions, which obviously helped. Uh, but we created many natural adversities for ourselves. a lot of adversities we created. I think the biggest thing in moving forward is we take great pride, just like every program does, in winning the fourth quarter. And we were up 27 to 10 with 14 minutes left in the game, and we allowed an opponent to come back and obviously take the lead. Um, I thought we lacked focus. I thought we lacked details in the fourth quarter. For, so that's something, obviously, that um, – that we have to get corrected. But, you know, our goal is to be 1-0. and We're 1-0. and um, We always know that the monumental improvements occur from week one to week two with the team's improvements. So we're looking forward to playing uh, a really good football team in Tulsa Saturday night here in uh, Jonesboro. Thank you, Coach. We'll start off with uh, Luke Matheson. Luke? Luke, you're still on uh, mute there. Luke, we talk we talk about consistency and performance all the time, and I can tell you, you're extremely consistent. It, it is it, it's showing that I'm unmuted, so maybe you can hear me now. Yep, I can hear you. I, it, consistency is key, just not in that situation. But so so, coach, I uh, went back and I watched, and one young man that's new to this team that I saw, I thought performed well, was was Marvin Ham. I just wanted to ask you what you thought about him and how he played this weekend. And also, what do you see out of Tulsa and what do you got to do to prepare for them? Well, we had 60 newcomers, um, or out of the 60 that played, 36 were newcomers or in their first and second year in the program. And I believe defensively, of our 30 players played, 19 of them uh, fit that criteria. Uh, Marvin Ham's an individual who's played a lot of football over his career. He's at the University of Colorado. He's from Detroit and uh, been really, really excited about him. He's come in. He's really done a good job with our culture. He's becoming one of our leaders. I think he adds another dynamic to the linebacking core from a maturity standpoint, uh, but also from an athletic standpoint. So uh, we thought he played winning football for us. In terms of Tulsa, very big, very strong, very physical, completely different football team than they were last year. I think that's kind of the age of college football right now and the transfer portal and the rebuild of rosters and really being year-to-year -year football teams. Um, they have skill. I really like their quarterback. He can make all the throws. They're physical on defense. So it's going to be a great challenge for us on Saturday. We'll go over to uh, Charles. Charles? What's going on, Coach? Hey, Charles. Uh, quick question for you. Uh, after the game, you mentioned you had four or five offensive linemen get hurt um any update on anybody's injuries yeah I, I think you know in football is a game of next person in um but when you really look at it also you know four out of five of your starting offensive linemen aren't on the football field uh that will take its toll on a football team and I think that speaks a little bit to um you know the depth of our football program now uh we did not play winning football up front uh that was clearly evident in the second half but, uh, you know, those individuals competed. Now we have to get a lot better. Uh, you know, we totally expect to have two to three of them back. We expect Jacob Bear to, to play this Saturday, which will be great. Uh, he's the leader of the room. He's our captain. He's kind of the anchor of the offensive line. So to get some individuals back, uh, it's going to be a huge benefit for us. Thank you. We'll go over to Sam. Sam? Coach Jones, the, obviously the youth and the newness of your team has been a story that over the past few seasons, but uh, got a lot of uh, key key plays from players that had played some you know pivotal plays for you guys in the past, whether that's Rayner, Cross, Wallace, Rucker. So um, does it does it show kind of the growth of the program and just where you guys are at now to see those guys being the ones making the plays for you uh, when it counts in in you know a close game? 
Absolutely. You know, when you look at all the adversity that created and, uh, you know, you're down with 50 seconds to go in the game and you got the ball in your own 30 yard line and to be able to take the ball down the field, um, you know, and having that experience, uh, you know, our players have been through that. I think it's a byproduct of practice. We had a great two minute drill on Thursday. We actually practiced that exact situation that we had in our mock scrimmage game as well. But, you know, I can't say enough for an individual like Corey Rucker. I thought Corey really willed us to win. You know, I, some of the plays that he made, his effort, his energy, uh, the contested catches, just that uh, competitive grit, that competitive greatness. Corey was at a whole different level. And so I thought he was an individual who's been in our program that really willed us and gave us an opportunity to win on Saturday. And we'll go back over to Luke. Luke? Hey, Butch, uh, I know you had Malik Hornsby in there a couple of times. Tried to get the ball to him a few times, didn't quite work out there. But what are your thoughts on him and, and how you want to use him moving forward? Yeah, well, I think Malik is progressing. I think the biggest thing for him is the overall knowledge of the offense. He's still in the infant stages of really learning the offense. So I think the more that he can handle mentally from uh, – the volume of plays and the inventory of plays, I think, will serve him to getting him the ball more and more. Uh, he's work in progress, but I see him making great strides. And, uh, you know, he was in there, and I think as the season progresses, you'll see more and more from Malik. Thank you, and thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. All right, you guys have a great week.